Memories are timeless treasures of the heart. Join us as we share weekly obituaries in memoriam, reflections, and loving tributes. We hope you find solace in the memories shared. In loving memory. Hamilton Seymour Ben. Licia Ramona Cumberbatch Nay Howell. William Montley Denny. Wilhelmina Eversley. Deshaun Ethmar Jamali Howell. Enid Kathleen King. Sonia Carlita Seal Sargent. Philip Arthur Small, known to many as Don. Not how did they die, but how did they live? Not what did they gain, but what did they give? These are the units to measure the worth of a person as a person, regardless of birth. Not what was their church, nor what was their creed, but had they befriended those really in need? Were they ever ready with a word of good cheer to bring back a smile, to banish a tear? Not what did the sketch in the newspaper say, but how many were sorry when they passed away. Hamilton Seymour Ben, also known as Hammy or Ben, of Lot 358 Husbands Gardens, St. Michael, formerly of Corbin's Road, Ashton Hall, St. Peter, he entered peacefully into rest at the age of 62. Retired ordinary seaman of Barbados Coast Guard ship, ex-husband of Shirley Ben, son of Isaline Griffith and Stephen Brooms, stepson of Gilbert Griffith, grandson of the late Loretta and Alfonso Ben and Verona and Egerton Brooms, brother of Stephen and Pedro Griffith, Dave Sobers, Jude and Lester Brooms, Joel Yard and six others of Labory, St. Lucia, nephew of Elmo Ben, Arthur Hope, Vivian Stewart, Bertilla, Darwin, Berkeley, Winston and Charles Brooms, uncle of Rashad and Summer Griffith and Stefan Holligan, cousin of Hal, Hazel, Angus, Jeffrey, Michael, Lisa, Tonya, Haley, Pedro Ben, Pedro Ben, Betty and Jeffrey Osborne, Stevenson Harris, Harriet Williams, Davidson Griffith, Trevor and Annette Stewart, and many more. Brother-in-law of Rosalind Griffith, relative of the Griffith, Harris, Ben, Scantleberry, Daniel, and Rock families. The funeral of the late Hamilton Seymour Ben leaves Earl's Funeral Home on Saturday, August 26, 2023, for the chapel of Mount Pleasant Memorial Gardens, Pleasant Hall, St. Peter, where relatives and friends are asked to meet for the service of Thanksgiving at 10 a.m. The funeral will then proceed to the Casarina Lawns for the internment. No morning colors by special request. Live streaming of the funeral may be viewed via watch.earlsfuneralhome.com forward slash Hamilton Ben. Licia Ramona Cumberbatch Nay Howell November 28, 1977 to July 29, 2023 Late of Vaucluse St. Thomas Finance Manager of ICBL Daughter of Mona Barton and the late Rudolph Howell Wife of Hassan Cumberbatch Mother of Aidan Cumberbatch Sister of Rudy Maloney and Lasanta Howell, 
stepdaughter of Chesterfield Barton, daughter-in-law of Michelle Cumberbatch, and the late Ronald Cumberbatch, sister-in-law of Amber, Graham, Matthew, and Soraya Cumberbatch, aunt of Akil and Akeem Maloney, niece of Esther, Janice, Joy, Randolph, Rosalind, Ruth Ann, and many others, cousin of Andrew, Angela, Antoinette, Deborah, Glennis, Karen, Lisa, Lauren, Stephanie, Yvette, the Ford family of Canada, and many others. Goddaughter of Wendy Bellamy, Rodrika Shorey, and the late Colleen Hudson. Godmother of Shanika Critchlow and Micah Tudor. Relative of the Howell, Seely, and Bolden families. The funeral of Licia Ramona Cumberbatch, nay Howell, leaves Belmont Funeral Home Tuesday, August 22, 2023, at 8.15 a.m. for St. John Parish Church, where relatives and friends are asked to meet at 10 a.m. for the service. There will be a private internment. The family truly appreciates all well wishes and kind sentiments. However, by special request, they would prefer to have only immediate family and close friends attend the internment. We are grateful for your cooperation. The service, however, may be viewed via live stream at www.belmontfuneralhome.live forward slash Licia Cumberbatch. William Montley Denny, late of Greenwich Village, St. James, entered peacefully into rest at age 50. Former employee of the Caribbean Broadcasting Corporation, son of Cynthia Denny, retired nurse of the Queen Elizabeth Hospital and Geriatric Hospital, brother of Wesley Denny, manager of Lot One Development Inc., nephew of David Denny, Joycelyn Stout, Pauline Archer, Doreen Waith, and Harriet Walters, uncle of Josiah Denny, cousin of Petula Denny, Akeem Denny, Woodruff, Aaron Denny, Angus Denny, Karen Stout, and many others. Relative of the Denny, Barnes, Stout, and Haynes families. Friend of Franklin Rock, Diane Gemmont, Frederick Blackman, CBC family, and the Greenwich Village community. The funeral of the late William Montley Denny leaves Earl's Funeral Home on Wednesday, August 23, 2023, for St. James Parish Church, Church Point, Holtown, St. James, where relatives and friends are asked to meet for the service of Thanksgiving at 2.30 p.m. The funeral will then proceed to St. James Cemetery for the internment. Live streaming of the funeral may be viewed via watch.earlsfuneralhome.com forward slash William Denny. Wilhelmina Eversley, Sunrise, June 18, 1932, Sunset, August 4, 2023. Better known as Bedot of Watts Village, St. George, wife of the late Owen Eversley of Watts Village, St. George, daughter of the late Ambrosine and Oscar Aline of Chatterton Road, Carrington Village, St. Michael, sister of Geraldine Brown, Joyce Fields, Jean, Leroy and Michael Aline, Anthony and Anderson Aline, and Shirley Taylor of the U.S., treasured aunt and adopted mother of Karen Aline of the U.S.A., beloved aunt of Steve Aline and Diana Brown, aunt of Winston, Desmond and Patrick Brown and Errol and Sharon Taylor, Adrian Richard, Michelle, Jeff, Nakia Aline and David Fields of the USA and Sharia Aline, great aunt of 17, relative of the Lane, Roaches, 
elders and allies of St. Peter and St. Philip, friend of the Brewster and Thornhill families. The funeral of Wilhelmina Eversley leaves Belmont Funeral Home, Belmont Road, St. Michael, on Tuesday, August 22nd, 2023, for the St. David's Anglican Church, St. David's Christ Church, where relatives and friends are asked to meet at 10 a.m. for the service. The funeral will then proceed to the Coral Ridge Memorial Gardens for the internment. The service may be viewed via live stream at www.belmontfuneralhome.com forward slash Wilhelmina Eversley. Deshaun Ethmar Jamali Howell, aged 22 years, better known as Et O, late of Beckles Hill St. Michael, former employee of Mojo's Bar and Restaurant, son of Natasha Howell and Dwayne Brathwaite, father of Kishana Gamble, grandson of Lynette Howell, Peter Jones, Sherman Harris, and the late Sonia Brathwaite, brother of Deshauna and Namisha Howell, Demario Blackman, Valencia, Valesha, and Dwenisha Brathwaite, and Duyana Aline, uncle of Dera Amor Howell Seeley, nephew of Dwayne Howell of the Barbados Prison Service, Ramel Brathwaite, Shana Brathwaite, many others, and the late Roxanne Howell, cousin of many, friend of Ivor, the Barbados National Football Association family, Matthew Archer, and many others, boyfriend of Kalia Gamble, relative of the Howell, Aline, Jones, Leacock, Clark, Boyce, Brathwaite, Harris, Carter, Ford, and Gamble families, godson of Omar Neblet, Rhea Fagan, Rosemary Williams, and Terry Harding. The funeral of the late Deshaun Ethmar Jamali Howell leaves Belmont Funeral Home on Saturday, August 26, 2023, for the Colimo Rock Church of the Nazarene, where relatives and friends are asked to meet at 10 a.m. for the service. The funeral will then proceed to Coral Ridge Memorial Gardens for the internment. The service and internment may be viewed via live stream at www.belmontfuneralhome.live forward slash Deshaun Howell. Enid Kathleen King of Lot 21, Lamming St. Joseph, formerly of Hillaby St. Andrew, entered peacefully into rest at the age of 92 daughter of the late Gladys and Fitzgerald King, mother of Edlin King Hines of the United Kingdom, Dolores King and the late Wayne King, mother of Ingrid and Adrian of the United Kingdom, Julia, Tamisha of the USA and Karen, great-grandmother of 10, sister of Maggie King of the USA, Sybil King, Mita Brathwaite, Ellsworth King of the United Kingdom, the late Tennyson Winston, the late Tennyson Winston, Allen, and the late Granville Watson, Aunt of Veronica, Yvonne, Maureen, Samantha, Ellsworth Small, and Maureen Carrington, great aunt of many, cousin of many, mother in law of Tony Hines of the UK and Sandra King of the USA, relative of the King. Ramsey and Watson families, friend of Arthur, Susan, Miss Mullen, and many others. The funeral of the late Enid Kathleen King leaves Earl's Funeral Home on Saturday, August 26, 2023, for the Hillaby Christian Mission Church, St. Andrew, where relatives and friends are asked to meet for the service of Thanksgiving at 2 p.m. The funeral will then proceed to St. James Parish Church Cemetery for the internment. God is our refuge and strength. It is with great sadness that we announce the passing of Sonia
Carlita Seal Sargent of number 67 Albury Terrace, St. Philip, former employee of CDS and CIBC, loving daughter of Samuel Morrison of the UK and the late Mavis Brathwaite, cherished wife of Lionel Sargent, stepmother of Stacey Best, Lisa Austin, and the late Vicki Taylor, step-grandmother of Adisa, Jalisa, Brittany, and Russell Sargent, and three others. Sister of Winston and Edridge Seal, Astridge and Michael Morrison of the UK, aunt of Shanice and Olivia, and six others. Niece of Elfrida Small, Eudora Stout, David Morrison, Anne Morrison of the U.S., Jennifer McConney of the U.S., and others. Sister-in-law of Joyce Carvalho, Myrna and Michael Sargent, Michelle Marshall, Sylvester Seeley, Basil Burgess, Deborah, Marcia, and Stephen Beckles, cousin of Charmaine Watkins, Mary Burke of Canada, Owen of the U.S., and Janice Clark, relative of the Seeley, Morrison, and McConney families. The funeral of Sonia Carlita Seal Sargent leaves Belmont Funeral Home on Friday, August 25, 2023, for St. Patrick's Anglican Church, Christ Church, where relatives and friends are asked to meet at 3 p.m. for a service of thanksgiving and celebration, followed by the internment in the churchyard. The service and internment may be viewed via live stream at www.restinpeace.live forward slash Sonia Seal dash Sergeant. Philip Arthur Small, known to many as Don, aged 77 years, late of Cherry Grove No. 1, St. John, retired technician of Xyle Craft Optical and former organist of Cherry Grove Gospel Hall Assembly, son of the late Clementina and James Small, brother of Norma Phillips, Elaine Richardson of the UK, and the late Inez Small and Henderson Bascom, uncle of Wendy Small, Delisle Bascom, Caseline Gooms, and Lydia Gemmett, and the late Terry Bascom, great uncle of Janice and Rodney Richardson of the UK, Sherwin Small and Sherry Bradshaw, Bakari and Ryan Bascom, Anissa Gooms, and Aidan Yard, great great uncle of Caden McCollin, Solai and Rue Bascom, cousin of Marcia Clark, Deborah Batson, Nella Smith, and many more. Relative of the Bascom, Clark, Smith, Messiah, and Seely families. The funeral of the late Philip Arthur Small leaves Belmont Funeral Home on Friday, August 25, 2023, for St. John Parish Church, where relatives and friends are asked to meet at 3 p.m. for the service. The funeral will then proceed to St. John Parish Church Cemetery for the internment. Condolences may be emailed to sherrybradshaw at gmail.com. The service and internment may be viewed via live stream at www.belmontfuneralhome.live forward slash Philip Small. This week we remember Everson Robinson Elcock. Everson Robinson Elcock, CBE, BCH, JP, MJF.
Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Smart, disciplined, detail-oriented, observant, passionate, humble, supportive, confident, loyal, and dedicated. These words have two things in common. When you search on Google, these are some words that come up when you're searching for adjectives to describe a leader. However, to those that knew him, these words also are commonly used to describe our grandfather, Everson Robinson Elcock. Throughout his 86 years of life, our grandfather had many different names and different roles. Everson, Mr. E, Uncle Everson, Boss, Chief, just to name a few. However, to us, he was known as Papa, a leader and a true businessman that took pride in his work and company. He always made time for one thing money could never buy, family. I remember granddad occasionally picking me up from school when mommy and daddy were too busy with work and having ABC Highway blocked up because he was driving at half the speed limit. <laughs> he truly was a man that moved to the beat of his own drum. And as I got older, a bit older, I started learning more about his role as a businessman and a philanthropist as well. He truly was a loyal son to his country, Barbados. For the projects he took the biggest pride in was any project related to our nation's heritage, such as a celebratory light display in the Bridgetown Pier that he completed for our country's first independence in 1966 and several others over the decades. But to me, I think the most impressive thing about him was his sheer sense of character that he exuded in every aspect of his life, as a father, as a husband, as a brother, as an employer, as a business partner, and as a friend. Although Papa is no longer here with us today, his legacy lives on. As we lay him to rest, the memories of his love, laughter, and lessons live on through our fathers, grandmother, and us. As a guardian of our family heritage, he established a foundation for us to grow and allow us to achieve whatever we wanted, knowing he was and will always be by our side through it all. Thank you for your love, service, and lessons. Thank you for showing us how to turn lemons into lemonade. And thank you for teaching us to be a leader and never a follower. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for coming for the remembrance of my father, Everson Elcock. I first met Everson Elcock in 1967. <laughs> and last interacted with him and spoke with him two weeks ago on the 3rd of August, 2023. For his small stature, his footprint was large, and his life's journey gave credit to the term, seize the opportunity. In 2001, he was given the Barbados Centennial Honor. In 2013, he was made a commander of the British Empire, and he was also made a justice of the peace, all for his contributions to being a post-independence nation builder. Daddy's canvas was created on the day of its birth, July 27, 1937. Now, if you pause and reflect on that date, this was the date of the Labour re re Rebellion in Bridgetown, which had reached a tipping point when Clement Payne was forcibly deported to Trinidad the day prior. The people had had enough, and this was the catalyst to the most significant social and political unrest in Barbados ever. Daddy was born on that day. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory.
This week, we remember Wayne Willis Kenmore Benskin, Dudley Alexander McCrony Bentham, Marva Yolanda Darlington, Cyriline Alicia Gill, George Eustace Harrington Harris, Oscar Chesterfield Harvey, Frederick Owen Hurdle, Clevedon Francis de Courcy Mayers, Sylvia Lolita Mayers, Goldwyn MacArthur Scott, Melvin Everett Seeley, Lorene Ordine Smith, Bradley Devere Hinkson, Ayalyn Patricia Walters, Owen Neville Ward, Winston Grant Wuerl, and Hallam Roger Gittins Yard. One of the greatest comforts in times of sorrow is the expression of sympathy conveyed in many ways. The team at In Loving Memory thanks you on behalf of the families for your expressions of sympathy at this time.